Welcome to Eye Care of Delaware. And if you've been diagnosed with a cataract, congratulations. This is an excellent opportunity for you to reset your vision. We'll begin this video with an anatomy lesson of the eye. This is the cornea, the clear covering on the outside of the eye. Behind that sits the iris, which is the color part, and the pupil is the opening that allows light to pass through. Right behind that sits our eye's natural lens. The lens inside our eye works just like it does inside of a camera by taking light and images and bringing them into focus. When we're young, the lens is clear and flexible. Then around the age of 40, the lens starts to lose some of its flexibility and the ability to accommodate, meaning it can no longer focus in and out and provide us with the up-close vision, hence the need for reading glasses. Then as you begin to blow out more candles on the birthday cake, Sometimes it's caused by genetics, medications, UV exposure, or certain trauma to the eye. That lens begins to cloud. And that's what a cataract is, the clouding of the eye's natural lens. So no matter how many times you go to your optometrist and complain about your glasses, there will come a point when he can no longer change the prescription to provide you with adequate vision. Typically, patients who have a cataract will first complain about difficulty driving at night, watching television, including seeing the on-screen TV guide, and reading fine print. When the cataract starts to interfere with your quality of life, that's when it's time to consider cataract surgery. By doing a simple outpatient procedure at the Cataract and Laser Center, your surgeon will make a microscopic incision where the colored part meets the white part of the eye. Then, using the technology of either a laser or ultrasound, he'll break up the cataract extract that out, and implant a new lens inside the eye in order to restore your clear vision. There are options available regarding the method of surgery. We offer traditional cataract surgery, or our practice has invested in the latest technology in cataract surgery, bladeless laser-assisted cataract surgery. There are also options regarding your lens implant available. These are based on the anatomy of your eye and your visual goals. Your surgeon and surgical coordinator will discuss these with you following this video. Surgery is done one eye at a time, and typically we do the worst first. Once you and your surgeon decide that it is time for surgery, your surgical coordinator will provide you with a date and arrival time. You will report directly to the Cataract and Laser Center, which was a door on your left when you entered our building. That day, you will keep to your normal routine. You will eat your breakfast, dress in comfortable clothes since you won't be changing, and be sure to take all of your medications as you normally would, including aspirin and blood thinners. You should expect to spend approximately three hours at the surgery center. You will need a driver to take you home, however your driver is not required to stay in the building with you during your surgery. You will be pre-registered, so upon arrival there will be just a limited amount of paperwork and any deductibles, coinsurance, or fees for premium lenses will be collected at this time. Once admitted, our nurses will begin eye drops to numb, dilate, and cleanse the eye. We will check your blood pressure, temperature, and other vital signs. And based on your anxiety level, your nurse will offer you Valium to help you relax. You are awake for this procedure, which can take approximately 10 to 20 minutes, and the Valium will help to relax you. Once the nurses feel you are dilated and prepped, you will be escorted to the operating room. You will be seated in a chair that looks like a dental chair. It will recline to a prone position and a sterile drape will be placed over your face with an opening for your eye. Your surgeon will place a device inside your eye to prevent you from blinking and start the surgery that was described to you earlier. At no point during the procedure should you feel anything that is considered painful. However, you can expect to feel some mild discomfort. Most patients describe it as pressure from the fluids that are used during the surgery. Once your surgery is complete, you will be escorted back to the pre-op room. A clear plastic shield will be placed over your eye with a piece of medical tape. This is to prevent you from rubbing and touching your eye, since it will feel irritated that day. Some patients describe it as a foreign body sensation, such as an eyelash in the eye. Others state the eye feels heavy and achy but the most common complaint is burning, tearing, and scratchy sensation. Tylenol or Advil should eliminate the discomfort and some patients like to use artificial tears if the eye feels dry. You will keep the shield on the day of your procedure and sleep with it for two weeks. 
You will also be provided with these sunglasses, since you will be very light sensitive for two reasons. One, the dilating drops used for surgery can last up to 24 to 36 hours. And two, now that the cataract is gone, a lot more light will be passing through your eye. This is your new normal, which takes some patients some time to get used to. The day of your surgery, you can resume all of your normal activities as you feel comfortable. You can bend over, lift, read, watch TV, walk the dog, go out to dinner. The only restrictions are rubbing the eye, and you cannot drive that day due to the volume. You will be seen the next day at Eye Care of Delaware for a follow-up appointment, and most patients are able to drive themselves to that appointment. Our nursing staff is dedicated to making your experience with us enjoyable. Cataract surgery is considered to be the most successful and most commonly performed procedure done today in the United States. However, it is still surgery and there are always risks involved. The most serious complication that can occur with any surgery is the risk of infection, and we take that very seriously here. We use a sterile operating room, sterile equipment, and follow sterile technique. Your responsibility as the patient is to follow the doctor's instructions regarding the use of eye drops and post-operative care. You'll be instructed if at any point you notice decreased vision, pain, discharge, increased floaters, or flashes of light to contact us immediately. That could be a sign of an infection or other complication, and left untreated could result in a loss of vision. On the consent form you'll be signing, it lists swelling. Swelling's not necessarily a risk of surgery, but rather a side effect. It will happen to a certain degree. This isn't visible swelling on the outside of your face, but rather a small amount of swelling inside the eye, which can cause vision changes. You may be on eye drops for an extended period of time. If this happens to you, it doesn't necessarily mean there was a complication, but rather it just takes your body a little longer to heal. You are having surgery and should expect some discomfort, but nothing should be painful either here or at home. If you experience pain, you will need to contact us at the number on your discharge instructions. Some patients may need an additional treatment following cataract surgery. The most common one is a laser treatment for a secondary membrane. There is some soft tissue holding the eye's natural lens in place. Your surgeon is going to open up the front part of that capsule to get to the cataract and leave the back portion intact. You may develop symptoms that mimic the cataract, some cloudy, blurry vision. The cataract cannot return, but that secondary membrane presents as a film-like appearance on the implanted lens. A simple outpatient laser treatment can restore that clarity. Our surgeons now offer patients the convenience of dropless cataract surgery. At the time of surgery, a long-acting formula is placed into the eye, which eliminates the need for post-operative eye drops for approximately 90% of patients. The benefits for you are no costly eye drops, no fumbling with tiny eye drop bottles, and no difficult eye drop schedules to follow. As with all medications, there are some considerations. The medicine is rather thick and milky, so for about 8 to 12 hours following surgery, you may have some hazy vision since you will be seeing a reflection of the medications. As your body is absorbing the medication, it is not uncommon to notice floaters or swirls in your vision for a week to 10 days. And some patients may still need one eye drop following surgery if there is excessive swelling or redness. Not all patients are eligible to go dropless because of some medical conditions or allergies, but it will be offered to you if you are a candidate. During your visit today, your surgeon will be performing a comprehensive dilated eye exam. If he feels you are at a higher risk for any other complications based on the health or anatomy of your eye, he will discuss them with you. This is a surgical procedure and we cannot predict every possible scenario that can happen here. But what we've done for you today is highlight the ones that are the most common and the most serious. Once again, Thank you for entrusting the doctors and staff at Cataract and Laser Center and Eye Care of Delaware to take care of your cataract. We care about your vision. You'll see.